So I'll be walking through a comparison of Charles Schwab versus TransferWise, now known Wise, to know which one is better to transfer money abroad. We'll be looking at different scenarios. What are the benefits of each method? So I've been hearing a lot of conversations in online and also reading a lot of conversations regarding Schwab is better than TransferWise and vice versa. But I couldn't find any information online. So in this video, we'll be walking through that comparison in detail. TransferWise is really easy. You get on that app and you immediately see where to add the amount you want to exchange. You see the fees they are going to charge you and you see the exchange rate they will be using different you go into the app you add the amount you will be exchanging you immediately see the transfer fees they will be charging you uh, but you do not see the conversion rate what you see is a mention on the bottom saying that they're going to be using that day uh, market rate plus they will be adding a markup to that rate a fair comparison we collected all the exchange rates and the fees at the exact same time and that was at 10 a.m we transfer wise wise was super simple you get on the app you ex immediately extract that information with charles schwab was a little bit different so i had to call them and go through three people until i got to the exchange department as, where they were able to give me that day's exchange rate let's go through this data so what I did is I did several uh, mockups of transfers of different values. And here you can see for Schwab in my bank account with Schwab, they always charge me $15 for the transfer fees. Now looking at transfer wise, the fees are going to change depending on the amount you are exchanging. And I, I was using ACH. So that's why you see ACH fees here, which is normally the cheapest available option with TransferWise. Change rate for Schwab and TransferWise. And here you see the markup that Schwab has uh, compared with WISE. You also can see that the transfer fees for Schwab, they are always the same independent of the amount that you're converting. And again, this $15 is what I see on my own bank account. And when you look at transfer rise, you see as you transfer higher amounts, those fees are also increasing. Scenarios from $1,000 to $10,000. So we can compare in which situ situation is better to transfer with Schwab or WISE. Transferring an amount as a thousand, you're actually better with transfer WISE because you save uh, nine, almost 10 euros. The amount of $10,000, you're actually better with Charles Schwab because you end up saving round up 28 euros. Looking at the different transfer amounts, you can immediately spot where exactly does why stop being the more beneficial method and Charles Schwab starts being the best option for you to transfer money. TransferWise is worth it for transferring lower amounts up to $3,000 and a huge benefit is that when you transfer with them, your money is available the next business day. Schwab is that is beneficial when you're transferring large amounts from $5,000 and above. The only thing that you need to keep in mind is that your money will only be available after three business days. Actually, everyone was right. Because in some scenarios, TransferWise is better for lower amounts and Charles Schwab is better for higher amounts. There you have it. 